So I'll go live someday when I have the time, energy, and desire. <laughs> but in the meantime, just to give you a little bit more information about the concept of reptilian energy um, as it relates to actual reptilian energy, we're talking about the dark side. We're talking about an energy that represents what reptiles represent, what demons represent, what psychopaths represent, the cold ones, as I mentioned before. These are beings who are emotionally detached. These are beings who operate in a different manner. These are beings who, like all beings, have a gift and a curse, right? There is a gift in objectivity. There is a gift in separating yourself from emotion because you're not bound or mastered by emotion, right? You can step outside and master it. Now let's talk a little bit more spiritually about this kind of energy. Any time, or just energy, energy in general. When you are talking about something or whether something is good or not, you need to think about it collectively. Would it be a good or a bad thing if everybody embodied this energy? Now, as Buddhists say, right, you need to be able to have something to compare something to, right? Without pain, there is no joy. Without dark, there is no light, right? So arguably, if everything was dark, we wouldn't know better and it wouldn't make a difference. But what stories in religious texts like the Bible have told us, and you don't have to be religious to recognize truth in all things, God is currently trying to heal itself. God is battling with itself. And what Christians don't want to understand or accept is the fact that both God's angels and God's demons are both under God's control. Satan is the shadow or the dark side of God itself. This is not some separate outside external energy or being that has nothing to do with the all-knowing, all-healing, all-being, all-harming. Let's be real about God's uh energy about God's nature. Okay. God is not all good. Okay. So when we're talking about battling with ourselves and we're talking about doing our own shadow work, shadow work, inner work, and having to hold up a mirror to our own selves as above, so below, God is doing the same exact thing. And what God has told us is that when beings of all kind, spirits of all kind are able to reach a place of balance of love, this will be a new earth because like great minds, like Jordan Peterson have said, a bunny has no virtue because of its innocence. It simply has no other choice but to be innocent because that is what it is. True virtue comes from recognizing the monster within and learning to master it. So the same concept applies to all beings. We cannot rid ourselves of darkness. Not completely. We can hone behaviors. We can hone parts of the psyche. We can integrate in a productive manner, but we cannot rid ourselves of it, right? That is the nature of polarity. That is the nature of duality. And we live on a plane, in a realm, on a planet that is karmic in nature, that is dual in nature. So it is simply about mastering ourselves, and forgive me, I know I'm digressing quite a bit here, but because of my literal other side, which is a literal angel side, archangel energy versus this dark reptilian energy, this is my eye. It's in the middle, right? I can see the benefit of both sides. I can see the harm that comes from being too good, right? I can see that, but I can also see the harm from from being too bad, so to speak. We have to meet in the middle, okay? So that is the goal here, spiritually. Essentially, the bottom line is mastering both sides of ourselves and achieving balance. But let's jump back into the conversation about reptilians because that's what you actually asked about here. And I can tell that you have a dark side because if you can resonate with what I was saying, and that ability to detach, that ability to, to separate yourself emotionally, that ability to be objective. 
if you can resonate with that, then you can resonate with your dark side. You can resonate with the part of you that is not as soft and fuzzy, right? We all have this, right? Persona shadow, yin yang. It, these are concepts that all explain the same thing. God, Satan, or Jesus, Satan, however you want to put it. Energies, stories describing the same concepts. Now let's talk about the conspiracy theories perspective of reptilians. Okay, they typically put this energy or this title and pair it with beings who they perceive to be lacking emotion, lacking humanity, more psychopathic or sociopathic or narcissistic in nature. These are typically people with great power who they feel are not implementing this power with love. Okay. I'm not going to get into that. I'm not going to argue about that. Having perceptions of people you don't know based on your own imagination and the conspiracies told by others is foolish and not enlightened either. But I'm talking about energies here. These are the energies we're talking about when we talk about reptilians or draconians, harshness, brutality, lack of emotion. But this is why I love the use of fixed stars right, in astrology and, and other things of this nature, numerology. Other things of this nature are so helpful because of the fact that you can truly understand, especially when it comes to fixed star energies, you can understand and start to recognize that if someone is like this, it is because it is God-ordained. And your judgment, your disapproval changes nothing. And it misdirects your own energy. Focus on being you because that is God ordained as well to your fullest potential. And that's all you can really do. Okay. So we're talking about awareness of your darkness, awareness of that lack of emotionality because we all have that part of ourselves, that objectivity, right? That separation, that detachment. But just hone it. I hope this answered your question. Take care.